there everyone, it's Nina. Thanks for joining me today for a new video. Today I'm going to be using products from Doodlebug's adorable Snow Much Fun collection. There's a lot of great stamps, dyes, paper, embellishments, and more that's part of this collection. And I couldn't wait to dive in and create something. So we're going to make a card and coordinating envelope. I'm gonna start first with the Snow Cute die set. This die set allows you to make these darling critters and it comes with all of the die pieces that you're gonna need. I'm going to make these look like realistic critters by utilizing our Simon Says Stamp Positively Velvet Sheets. These velvet sheets are super soft and luxurious and make great fur for critters. So I'm going to make not only a polar bear, which I'm die cutting the body of right now, but I'm also gonna make a penguin too. I'm also die cutting other accessory pieces that work with this polar bear, including his scarf from some glitter paper. I die cut his eyes and nose from black glossy cardstock from our Simon Says Stamp collection. I also used fog as well. And I did add a few little dots of some colored cardstock to match with my scarf that I die cut from some rainbow splash heather cardstock. I'm going to glue all of my pieces together with some Simon Says Stamp craft tacky glue. I'm utilizing my place and pierce tool to help me get some of these really small pieces put into place. But these pieces come together so quick and easy and make the most adorable little critters that you can use on your projects. So by utilizing some fun different types of cardstock, I was able to give these critters an even more cuter look. The black glossy cardstock really makes their eyes and noses stand out and have that realistic finish. And of course the furry velvet paper just looks so cute as the fur for the critters. For the penguin, I utilized our classic collection and also the white. That gave me the black that I needed for the body of the penguin. And the white areas I also cut from the velvet as well so that way it continues that really nice fur feel. I also utilized blue glitter cardstock and surf blue cardstock for his hat. To create the feet for the penguin though, I did die cut them from some white cardstock. These are really, really tiny, but I wanted them to have a specific color. So I thought that by going ahead and die cutting them from some white cardstock, it would allow me to then use a Copic marker to color in the beak and also the feet of the penguin. And that gave me the perfect color of orange that I wanted. I didn't have a cardstock color that worked perfectly, so this was a great alternative. And then I also used a Copic marker in a light pink to add some blush to the cheeks of the penguin and the polar bear. Once my critters were assembled, it's now time to add some decoration. I've got both the bits and pieces and the odds and ends ephemera collections from Doodlebug, and we're going to utilize pieces from those to add a nice little arrangement around our penguin and polar bear. I'm also going to cover my card base with some of the 12 by 12 pattern paper from the Snow Much Fun collection. And then I also freehand cut a snowy bank from some Simon Says Stamp white glitter cardstock, which I'll glue at the bottom of my card. I want to add a sentiment to this little panel that I pulled out of one of the ephemera collections. So I'm going to use a sentiment from the Snow Much Fun stamp set. And I'm stamping this with VersaFine Claire ink. This is a really nice crisp pigment ink that gives me a really nice dark greeting, which stands out beautifully on this ephemera piece. I'm going to glue my pattern paper that's going to cover my A2 size card with some Simon Says Stamp glue stick. This is a really quick and easy way to be able to adhere paper to your projects such as pattern paper and ephemera. I really use this glue stick all the time for that kind of stuff. I did pop up my ephemera panel onto my card with some 3D foam squares and I did the same for the trees that I'm going to nestle around it. In addition, the polar bear and the snowy bank were adhered with foam squares, but I did use thin 3D foam squares for the snowy bank. That way it's a little less dimensional than the polar bear, which gives this scene some depth. Any excess that was hanging off the sides, I did trim down with my scissors so that way it was flush with the card. As I'm finishing assembling all of my little accessories here, I'm thinking about what I wanna add for additional decoration. So I did add a small sentiment underneath that says warm winter wishes. And then I also brought in some mini jewels and shape sprinkles from the Snow Much Fun collection, as well as the puffy icons so that I can add some extra details around my critters. So I utilized some of the puffy birds. I added some snowflakes with the shape sprinkles and those I nestled around the trees, the background, and also even on top of the ephemera panel. So that way the scene looks like it had some depth to it. The jewels I mixed in around as well. 
I did decide to add a coordinating envelope to this project. I thought that would be fun. So using this little postage stamp from the Chit Chat ephemera collection, I'll glue that onto one of my Simon Says Stamp white A2 envelopes. I picked out one of the border stickers from the 12 by 12 paper pack and I stuck that along the bottom. I thought this scallop would be fun. And then I also brought in some of the kaleidoscope washi tape and I'm going to use that to seal the front of my envelope. I thought that would be a nice finishing touch and really makes this entire card feel extra special. I did add a few more of those fun shape sprinkles around my postage stamp Obviously, you would not be able to mail this particular envelope with the postage stamp there, so I would probably either hand deliver this card or put it in another envelope for the recipient if I was mailing it. Well, this card turned out so cute. I really love how all of these pieces, from the stamps and dies to the paper and ephemera pieces and down to the stickers, added so much adorable cuteness to this card project. I hope you were inspired by this card and envelope using the new Doodlebug Snow Much Fun collection. If you're interested in the products that I use today, you can find them all down in the video description below or over on our blog. Thanks so much for watching. I will be back soon with more to share, but until next time, have a wonderful day. Hi there, I'm Heidi, Simon's mama and founder at simonsaysstamp.com. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you like what you just saw, be sure to press the thumbs up and subscribe to see more great content.